Hey folks, welcome back. Beautiful winter day out here and I'm making the best of it and I'm getting out here with one of my new tools that I've purchased. What that is, is the Lewis winch. If you guys have a look down there, I've got a sleigh all full of stuff. You guys can see some rigging and got my uh, can hook and earmuffs and the winch itself right there. We're going to put that into action today and hopefully do a bit of log dragging. What you guys are looking at over there is the remnants of a tornado that rolled through six or seven months ago and boy did it ever devastate this forest. I'm finally getting in here after some delays to get some logs out of here. Now I've cut some logs down and you probably wouldn't even notice but they're lying there underneath all this snow. I have a snowmobile trail that runs through here. I want to get the logs out of here before I pack that trail solid. And if you guys have a look down here, I'm uh, I'm standing on probably a good foot of snow here. So I'm going to I'm going to have my work cut out for me today. I brought the can hook for a reason. I'm going to have to pry some logs out of the snow and then I'm going to get the winch hooked up to it and hopefully we'll get those dragged out of here so I can get them over to the sawmill to cut. Now, one thing you're going to notice here is it's not really a straight shot anywhere. There's pretty much bush that way and this way and that way and there's no sh uh, straight shot out of here to get up to a main trail. The closest main trail is up at the top of that hill there and so that's what I'm going to aim for. I'm going to hook up the winch and I'm going to drag the logs which you have to believe me they're under the snow there. I'm going to drag them over this way into this clearing and then hopefully once I get them into this clearing I can haul them up that hill there where I can then back the tractor to to haul them out of here. That's the goal. As you guys can tell, if I would have had a winch for my tractor, a three-point winch, a uh, three-point PTO winch, I wouldn't have had a straight shot nonetheless. So that's one of the benefits of this Lewis winch, as you guys will notice. It's very versatile. You can carry it in wherever you need it, hook it up, and put it into action. At least that's what I'm thinking. I haven't used it before. I simply just unboxed it and put it together. Fingers crossed it turns out to work as well as I think it's going to, but we'll see. Anyways, glad you guys are all here. Let's get down to work. Snow's pretty deep.
All right, guys. Well, we got these two logs, as you can tell, right to where I wanted them. Uh, as you can tell, I'm not perfect at this. This is my first attempt ever with the Lewis winch. One thing I'm learning right off the bat is if you go with the full 150 feet of the cable that's on the spool there, you are going to get a bird's mouth or uh, not a bird's mouth, a, a bird's nest. This is definitely something that I'm going to consider cutting. I probably will cut it down. 150 feet for me is quite, you know, quite a distance and for most part, I'm probably going to do very short hauls, so I'll probably cut it in half. That'll prevent this. You guys can see, despite having it on there tight, uh, inevitably you get a little bit of a bird's nest, and that's no good. That's going to shorten the life of my cable. You know, I don't want anything dangerous here. If we have a look at the size of the logs I just hauled out of here, uh, both of them are solid, uh, meaning they're not rotted, they're solid. I cut them, uh, I cut them up not long ago. This one's probably like, uh, I don't know, maybe 10 inch diameter, so not that big. That one over there might be seven inches. Uh, these trees here are definitely not hardwood trees or softwood trees, and so they're probably not as dense as some of the others. They are frozen, however, and they were frozen to the ground back there. Uh, just a little bit anyway, some of the branches. I had a little bit of a hang up, and you probably heard the saw really start to bog down. This is a Husqvarna 555. And so if you're gonna be using a saw like this, like that, well, here's what I can tell you. It is definitely gonna work if you get into a situation where the log starts to starts to get hung up. Uh, is bigger better in this case? Probably. I would imagine having a bigger saw would be better, but as I mentioned, this is my first go with this. So you gotta try what you got. And if you need to upgrade, well, you'll cross that bridge when you get there. I'm gonna do one more thing here before I call it quits and before I give you my final verdict. I'm gonna try to get these two logs up that hill. That hill is quite steep and so I'm hoping it goes up without problem. I am skidding in the winter with this so that'll you know reduce the friction coefficient and so friction coefficient forget all that but it will make it easier so uh, yeah let's give it a go and we'll see how we make out and then I'll give you my two cents. Here we go. All right, guys, well, there we have it. It is getting dark out here. These short days in the winter, what can you do about it, right? If you have a look here, I got both logs up here without problems. The only trouble I did start to notice was because the snow's so deep, the, uh, the lip of the log tends to dig into the ground a bit. I can probably just shave that off with a chainsaw next time. Uh, I know they make sort of like caps that go on the end. You can pull and it goes up and around things quite easily. Very small, but I did notice that, especially when coming up some hills. Some other things I did notice is this. That bird's nest, this is a bit of an issue. So if you think you're gonna run a hole 150 feet and not have a bird's nest, well, you're definitely better than me. That was a real pain. So that's gonna get dealt with. I'm sure if that cable was put on that spool perfect, and I guess I can't do it, but if it was put on there perfect, maybe it wouldn't touch the edges. But when you're towing something or hauling something like these logs, you're not exactly guiding it onto the spool. You're sort of putting it where it goes, right? The other thing I don't like is that bar. So you guys know with this Husqvarna, if you saw my other video, the Husqvarna has the outbound clutch or outboard clutch. The clutch is uh, on the far side uh, with, the, with the sprocket on the inside. That is not really that convenient for this thing. It makes it, it makes it quite a bit longer than if you had a direct mount. That bar right there, it just makes it a little, makes it a little cumbersome at times. I don't think I'm going to keep this saw on here permanently. Uh, I just wanted to see what it could do. This is a 60cc saw. It definitely pulled these logs up, no problem. Uh, and as you could see, it pulled it up a pretty good hill. Would I want to do this day in and day out with this saw? Probably not. I probably would want to get a bigger saw. And that's probably what I'm going to do. I'll look around a little bit. 
I may end up looking for an older Husqvarna with the uh, clutch on the inside. Uh, that way I can direct mount it. Same thing with the steel. Uh, that'll eliminate that length just by a little bit. Overall, it worked really, really well though. This winch is built. When I say built, I'm talking like solid. You can tell that whoever designed this designed it to be bucked around on the ground and, you know, loaded up and hauled and all that stuff. This thing is probably going to last the test of time. Uh, and so I'm quite happy about that. But overall, definitely a workout for me today. I'm sort of learning the ropes here and eventually I'll get it figured out. I'll get my rigging correct. I'll probably get rid of that chain and put some sort of a nylon sling. Uh, same thing here. I don't know if I'll keep a chain going around there to choke the log. We'll see. But uh, overall, I'm quite impressed. This thing is going to be very useful for me, especially when it gets very remote and I can barely walk to it. So overall, definitely a great buy. Uh, it, is, it is a tad expensive, but I am quite happy to say that despite it being expensive, uh, all the parts on it are solid. I would hate to get it it be real cheap and uh, fall apart on me the first go. So tune in next time. I'll probably be up to something, whether I'm back out here with my Lewis winch, out with my Husqvarna 555, or maybe even out at my sawmill. Tune in for that. As always, I appreciate everyone being here. Please hit that subscribe and like this video, and I'll see you next time.